There are three things you absolutely must be doing in your warm-ups to get the most out of your workouts. And number one is breathing. It's something that a lot of people probably don't think about while they're doing the warm-ups. And just to give you a little test real quick, go ahead and just bend over right now as far as you can, see where you can get to. And then I want you to do it again where you take a deep breath in and then exhale as you go into the stretch. And notice how much easier it is to get deeper in the stretch. The reason is you breathing like that signals your brain to tell your muscles and your nervous system to relax, and it's a lot easier to get deeper in those stretches. Now, number two is we don't really need to be doing static stretches. We need to be doing dynamic movements. And let me show you what that is. A dynamic movement is basically you moving into a stretch, right? It's not just you bending over and holding your feet or reaching over for your toes. It's you moving into the stretch and adding functional movements that's gonna complement the way you're gonna be doing your workouts, what muscle groups you're gonna be hitting, what movement patterns you're gonna be doing. So you'll be doing something like this when you're moving into the stretch. I'm hitting a lot of different stuff here. I'm hitting hip flexion, glute, hamstrings, shoulder stability, thoracic rotation, lower back, a lot of stuff going on versus just you know grabbing a heel with butt movement and just holding that for a short period of time. It's gonna take you forever to get warmed up versus doing a movement like that. You're gonna leave a lot of stuff over a short period of time. Another dynamic movement, just to give you another example, pulling your rotator cuff apart, so you pull it out, drop it into one knee, so I'm hitting some inner thigh here, coming up, now I'm pushing the rotator cuff, and then I'm hitting the inner thigh. So these are dynamic movements that you wanna be hitting during the warm-up. Now, third thing you must do in your warm-up is foam roll. A lot of people think that this is for soreness, that this is for uh, injury. It can help with those things, but guys, the main reason why we use this is to break up tight muscle tissue. Your muscle tissue is like strands of fiber that connect together like this. Over a period of time, if you sit in weird positions, you know, you drive a car for a long period of time, they just get knotted up as you're an adult, and you cannot stretch that. It does not move that way against you. You have to break that tissue up by massage or foam rolling, and then it's a full functioning muscle again. So, easy way to do that is just get your body on it, and we call it seek and destroy, where you're trying to find little areas that feel like bruises. It's not gonna be comfortable, but once you find that, you spend some time on it, roll it out, it's gonna break that tissue up. Add these three things in to your warm up, and you're gonna feel amazing. Focus on your breathing while you're doing your dynamic movements. Foam roll, and you're gonna crush your workout, feel way better while you're doing it, and get a lot more out of it.